What's up guys, Dan here at Blue Collar Training. And today I wanted to talk about motivation, how to stay motivated, how I stay motivated. Uh, this is something I get asked quite frequently and people always ask me, how do I stay motivated to go to the gym? How do I stay motivated to eat clean, clean food consistently? Um, how do I have the energy to go to the gym after working 12 hour shifts most days, stuff like that. Uh, and my answer for me is pretty simple. I enjoy it. I enjoy going to the gym. I enjoy eating the food that I eat because one, I actually like how it tastes. Two, I like how it makes me feel. Three, I like that I don't look like complete garbage from eating the food. Pretty good uh, reasons right there. So I enjoy it. I enjoy everything that I do in the gym. I enjoy pushing myself. I enjoy the pumps. I enjoy pushing heavy weight you know, trying to better myself. I enjoy eating chicken and yams or chicken and rice consistently or um, eggs and egg whites. I enjoy those foods. I don't really, I don't crave fast food. I don't like too much junk food. I hardly ever eat junk food. I think the last junk food I ate was I had a chicken fried steak like two weeks ago, but that was my cheat meal. I don't really eat food like that very often. Maybe once every two weeks, maybe once every once a month. So 90, more than 90% of all my food is meal prepped food, basic bodybuilder diet, chicken and rice, chicken and yams, egg whites and oatmeal, stuff like that. Um, lean beef and tortillas and hot sauce, whatever you like. Um, but for beginners, I always tell, you know, my friends and people that ask me, I always tell them don't go all in on anything ever. Well, not ever, but not right away at least. Not if you're a beginner, don't go all in. And what I mean by all in is cutting out carbs completely or, or going to the gym every single day for two hours or doing something completely opposite of what your normal uh, lifestyle is or what your normal routine is or what your normal regimen is. You should go into something by baby steps. You should ease into something because if you try to go all in on something, you will rebound and you're gonna leave off worse than you were before. And it's not so much bad on your body as much as it is on your psyche. It's just, you just feel bad and you feel like crap and then you don't, you don't like yourself and it's just bad. It's not good. I've been there. It sucks. Rookie mistake. So what beginners should do is make little changes in their diet and in their workout routines. Or it doesn't even have to be at the same time. It just be make small changes in your diet. For example, um, if you eat chips frequently, maybe try to eat less chips. Or maybe try not to eat chips. Or if you eat burgers all the time, Maybe try to cut back on the burgers and then for like a week and then the next week you try going to the gym and, and maybe even you don't even have to necessarily lift, lift weights. Maybe you just start doing cardio for a week and then maybe next week you try like a 30 minute workout, chest and back or legs or something, something small, baby steps. Because those, those baby steps, if you're consistent with the baby steps and you keep trying to better yourself, even every month, if you just try to add something new once a month, you're gonna see results and you're gonna, you're gonna see the difference. There's gonna be a difference and you're gonna notice it. And 
once you start seeing those results, that's when you're gonna, that's when you really start getting more motivation to, okay, I can do this, I'm on the right track, and then you can progress into working out consistently, eating good food consistently, drinking more water. That's one thing a lot of people don't do for some reason, which kind of, it's, it's so strange to me because I'm always thirsty. I always need to drink water. So it kind of blows my mind that people don't drink water. Um, or maybe if you drink sugary drinks, try not drinking sugary drinks. Maybe. Or if you drink a lot of soda, switch it to sugar-free. Unless you worry about the aspartame and chemicals. Don't drink soda then, I don't know. It's, it's little things like that that can make a big difference. I keep looking over here because it's the front camera, so the camera's over here. And I keep looking right here because that's where the screen is. Um, but yeah, little, little baby steps. Um, and then eventually those baby steps will lead to bigger and greater things. And, and I know that's how it works. That's how I've done it. That's how my friends have done it. And I know, I personally know people that will go all in, you know, try to be on this bodybuilding diet that they never, it's a complete 180 for them. And they try to work out every day and then they do it, they do good for like two weeks. And then that second week or third week hits and they can't do it anymore. And they relapse and they go back to going, doing whatever they were doing before. And it just, takes a toll on your, like I said, it takes your toll on your psyche and it just kind of messes with your head. And then you kind of, you, you put in this false idea of I'm never going to get in shape or I'm never going to do this. And then you just get in your own head and it's just bad. It's bad news. And it's very, it's sad and I hate seeing it. So I always, try to tell beginners to just take it easy and try to ease into something and don't go all in because you're not is a it's a marathon um getting into that lifestyle is a marathon you're not going to get into it right away but once you do get into that fit lifestyle whatever you want to call it going to the gym consistently eating good food consistently um, you're gonna be there and you're gonna feel so much better and you're gonna have more self-confidence and you're gonna like How you look and how you feel and you're not gonna want to go back and it's not even gonna be an option for you to go back And you're just it's gonna be you're gonna have a whole new outlook on life and everything's gonna be awesome for the most part um, But yeah, it's baby steps take it easy. Don't don't go crazy uh, remember, it's a marathon, not a race, so hopefully this helps somebody out. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Like I said, hopefully that helps somebody. Peace.